What's going on guys? It's Steven aka Mr. SC back again with TCG update videos. I know I've been away for like two weeks. It's been so crazy in real life with the family with also combining it with a lot of work for Rare Candy, the TCG server, which if you're not familiar with it, it's a massive online TCG server, Discord server. They also have various things going for them. Check the link to the Discord in the description down below. I will be in there as well if you want to go and say hi in there as well be sure to join there now today we are going to hop back onto the tcg update train we missed out on actually covering the full set of scarlet and violet ex that has passed now the set has been out for like close to two weeks i'd say i'm not going to cover that anymore we're just going to move into the new updates which is actually very exciting so let's go and jump over to pokebeach.com Link, as always, is in the description. Triple Beat set officially revealed for March. So we've got the first new set, or the second new set of the Sword, uh, the Scarlet and Violet EX, or, wow. We've got the second set for the Scarlet and Violet era revealed. Oh, that was hard. Triple Beat, the first Scarlet and Violet subset, has finally been revealed. We first discovered its trademark back in October. We can see the pack art right here with the three starter evolutions. Wow, that just got big. With the three final starter evolutions on the pack, this set will release on March the 10th. So that is actually quite funny because Jeff. Japan is getting its second Scarlet and Violet era set before the English one releases their first set. Kind of ridiculous, but hey. It will focus on the Paldea starter Pokemon and more new Pokemon from the region. Illustration rares will once again be featured in this set. Spirigato, Fuecoco, and Quaxily will each get their own, which you see right here. And these are obviously very cute looking cards very nicely done great cards let me know in the comments down below which one is your favorite out of the three i think i went with uh speedy gato as my starter but i thought i kind of i'm kind of liking the shopping card with the foy coco in it uh i'm not sure it's between those two let me know in the comments down below triple beat will probably become part of our unnamed set in june so we're talking june already for the english set we got a couple cards already announced. We've got Speedy Gato getting three different cards already. Two regular cards and then the um, special art rare or illustration rares, whatever the name might be. Which is strange, but hey, it's getting two different versions. And then the final evolution, Meow Scarada, might be butchering these names again, but you know me is getting the EX as the other final evolutions will also get an EX. We got Paldea, Horos, Oricorio. Here comes the Fue Coco with two, three, like two non-hollows and then the Illustrator Rare as well. So again, getting three cards. The final evolution gets the EX. Paldean Tauros. I really love the Tauros, the new alternate Tauroses. Really like the designs. Tauros is a Pokemon that I've always, always liked but it was never like a standout pick in like terms of favorite Pokemon or a lot of usage. But these two new alternate arts or alternate forms, whatever the main might be, there is a name for it, but it's just evading me right now. But they are, I like them a lot. I really think they're cool. And then we've got the final evolution here of the Quaxley in its EX form as well. Let me know in the comments down below again which one of these cards of the three starter Pokemon illustration rares do you like the most? And what do you think about the rest of these announcements basically? Like the final evolution are all getting EX cards probably. Uh, I've already talked about this. I'm probably not going to be going in pretty hard on the Scarlet and Violet sets in English as well as the Japanese. The Japanese has come out. I'm getting one. I'm getting one product in this week, I believe, from that set, I'm probably not going to go in too hard on this set. Uh, I just haven't been playing a lot of Scarlet and Violet. It's actually bugging me that I haven't played as much as I wanted to. 
but I just don't have the drive that the attraction to the game is just not there for me at this moment in time so I haven't really played a lot of it so therefore the sets don't really drag me in either a lot of these Pokemon's like I'm still learning the names the designs of a lot of these Pokemon's sometimes I'm just seeing a Pokemon on a card in Japanese and I just don't know what the name is in English that's all fine I guess but that's just making it very hard for me to connect really hard with the set so that's why I'm probably going to be more focused on Crown Zenith in terms of opening I will still obviously provide update videos but in terms of my personal experience and opening I will probably be more drawn to Crown Zenith because that release is going to be over the next months as we've covered in a previous video, video is on the channel. If you want to know more about Crown Zenit releases, when which product releases, that video is also on the channel. Go check it out. But without further ado, Koridon and Maridon illustration rare promos releasing in Japan. Pokemon Kart Gym Shops in Japan will be hold, holding special tournaments to celebrate the release of Triple Beat. Again, which we noticed or covered in the previous arg article releases on March 10th. Oh, it says it right here. Okay. Try to be clever, but it's just right here, guys. Participants <laughs> will purchase 15 packs of Triple Beat to construct and battle with a deck similar to our pre-releases. All participants will receive two stamped promo cards, a rare candy, and a and one of the two Nimona. Winners of each tournament will get promo booster pack containing a promo illustrator rare of either Maridon or Coridon which are these two beautiful cards but they will highly be limited and probably very hard in demand so these cards could be very expensive will we will get these cards in our pokemon center elite trainer boxes for scarlet and violet so that's actually quite interesting that they are only in the pokemon center boxes interesting i'm not sure if that's actually confirmed i would assume so but they will apparently only release in the pokemon center elite trainer boxes and not the regular ones but that is it for today we've got all that's all the information available right now on triple beat and the next japanese set upcoming in march on the 10th if i hadn't said that twice already in the video we're gonna wrap it up right here guys let me know your thoughts in the comments down below hit that like button hit that subscribe button if you want to get notified on future update videos. And with all that being said and done, I'm going to get out of here. Bye-bye, guys.